If you struggle to use really big, bold, striped, patterned paper in your layouts, this video could be just what you're looking for. It allows you to take the pop of colour and vibrancy that those bold stripes offer and tone it down a little by coordinating it with some soft neutrals um, and um, changing the look of the stripes. I'm Shauna and I'm passionate about pages and today I'm working with the red and white stripe from a collection called Stars and Sparklers. It's current in May and June of 2021 from close to my heart and it's this really bold stripe pattern here and speaking to a lot of my friends and customers they struggle with that pattern and knowing how to use it so I decided to um, bring my patchworking skills into play and do a little bit of bargello work so this is that same striped red paper and all I've done to create this checkerboard look is cut the paper into half inch strips and offset them. So can you see they start off as strips and just by bringing them up and down you create a checkerboard. Okay. This side there are five strips and this side there are three. And then I wanted to have a, a softer, more muted tone in the middle. I really love red, white and black. <laughs> and so the, the bold black with the white polka dots and then the white background with the little hearts on it but um, and the pop of red. But I felt it needed another colour in there. And so I introduced the very soft blue here into the blue bell, the black and the white patterned papers all come from a mix-in pack, okay, mix-in paper pack, which is in the same catalog as Stars and Sparkles, May to June 2021. If you've got something in your stash that will do, pull it out. And by adding those softer colours, it allows the bold print to pop without overwhelming, and the the border, apart from this one photo, it's away from where your photos will go. Okay, so let me just show you. I'm going to make um, a panel that can go in a pop-up, um, a flip-flap for here using that same Bargello technique. I love, if I'm going to be working with flip-flaps, grabbing a um, photo guide placement card that comes with lots of the close to my heart kits that's the same size as the flip flap so that's a four by six as I said earlier I've got my three strips that are half an inch and I'm going to start with the first one now you can use any adhesive for this I often use liquid glue um, for this technique and I'll place that first one straight down you do want to keep your strips so that they're aligned the way you you cut them off and this next one I'm going to drop it down a little bit okay so it'll go down and just offset now the stripes in this paper aren't regular widths and it doesn't matter okay because it just gives the illusion of a checkerboard when you do this okay and the third strip starts at the top like the first one did. Then it's just a matter of taking your scissors and trimming off the excess here. And all I do is I fill in that top piece with one of my scraps, one of my off cuts. Now when you're working on the page, the 12 inch strip those two started level with the top and this one was dropped down and whatever you cut off from the bottom will just fit at the top so I don't know if you can see the little tiny join there it's not something you notice when you're looking at the page okay and there you have it 
that will go in a flip flap and I will put a 3x4 photo on top of it okay and then when we open the flip flap there'll be a 6x4 photo here and another 6x4 photo here or it can open that way if you prefer so that will be a way to add more photos to my layout and another pop of the red towards the center of the layout because when that's not there I've got this strip that I cut from the red and white stripe where I'm going to put like a subheading on my page the story is going to go here and then I just felt that that little bit of extra red kind of um, balances the page a little bit then let me just show you over here I've used these gorgeous little stars that are part of the stars and sparklers range they come in red blue silver and gold and they're just really fun and then I grabbed one of the stamp sets that came with my album retreat bundle and this one this stamp set is available to everybody for purchase from July the 1st and it's just outline florals rather than color them as solid florals because I felt if I colored them as all solid florals it would make this border like even heavier on the page if that makes sense all I did was take my shimmer brushes and just go over some of the liney bits there was no real planning in it you know here this is the avocado and I just kind of did some squiggles around the center line there's no perfection in the coloring in this one is sugar plum which is a retired color and I just worked from the middle out I used gold shimmer brush right in the middle this one is scarlet and again I just drew out from the middle and this one is bluebell and it just gives enough color that it's interesting without the floral dominating the page okay this is going to be some photos of um, a picnic and I felt this kind of looked a bit like um, you know a traditional um, picnic tablecloth you know and then I was wanting a title up here and I thought oh will I stamp it will I cut it on the Cricut and then I chose another option I have been trying to use up some of my stash of um, stickers and compliments that came as part of other collections and I found this title that says life is better together and it was all gray and I just thought the gray was a bit flat on the blue background I'm going to keep the circle gray because that's really hard to color but all I've done here is used a black a marker to color over the words so let me show you how I do that really easy keep it on the backing sheet of the sticker because if you peel it off you'll come into trouble and take the chisel nib of the marker and literally just go over you can go outside the lines so long as you color the pieces that are going to come off when you peel the word up that's all that counts okay and this is how quick it is now you wouldn't have to do it with just black you could do that with any color that's just a little bit darker you know a red or a blue or a dark green oops sorry I'm having trouble getting that on um so when you have a look you just check that all the parts of the letters are colored in and then you can build your title and it's coordinated to your page so it's a great way to use up some of the supplies that um, you know maybe the colors don't go but if they're the the papery kind of stickers you can often color over them I usually just try it um, you know like see here on the B I tried it just before it got to the the actual sticker I'll be using to make sure that the color would um, would stick and that it would cover the gray and um, you know it worked perfectly so oops take this off now the reason I'm starting at the bottom with together is I want to um, 
I need to make sure that the G stays on the blue. You know, the tail doesn't end up over the white. So I'm going to look at that one to see how to get it straight. Move it over this way a little baby bit, I think. Tack that down. And then that one's pretty close, but it's it hangs down below the O. And that one's straight. Okay. And then I'll take the first word. And this time I'm going to start with the the first letter and the the little round piece and I think I'm going to have that like a dot point on it life is better together yep I think I quite like that and this then because I've colored it black it picks up on the black in the other parts of the layout and rather than introducing you know a lot of a new color I just have that tiny little bit of gray um, on the circle which picks up on the silver of the star so it's quite forgiving sorry I'm just trying to get the centers out I didn't bring my little pokey tool down to the videoing station so I've got sticker stuck all over my fingers now all righty And there you go. Now, my flowers here are popped up on a little bit of foam, so I feel like I want to pop this one up on a little bit of foam um, as well. And you could, to like if you have this particular title in your stash, you could totally just have better together. Um, I just did like the life is. Yeah, I like that better. Pop all that down. And that, oops, take you out again. That's you finished. So it's a very simple layout, um, but it's got quite a bit of pop. And it was very quick to do because my colouring wasn't super fussy and so on. So if you'd like the written instructions and the measurements and things, head over to um, head over to my blog and look for the Better Together star, um, Stars and Sparklers blog post from June 15, 2021. Have a great day, everybody.